I don't, I'm actually don't want to put words into your mouth, but um, would, would it your, be your, would you say to other people, um, you know, I had a great upbringing and I'd much rather, I'd much rather that I was given a happy home life than, yeah, than definitely. less to struggle. Definitely. I, I think children need to, to thrive a stable and secure environment in which they can find their identities. Because the thing is, when you have, any, any child who's been adopted has, obviously, they, you have a past, you have genetic heritage, and also you have a new heritage as well in your future. So you've got constantly two passports, if you like, going on at any one time. So that's why you need a sense of stability and security as much as you can find to help you overcome those issues. And one thing this government are doing, which is great, is they're putting more support and counselling in place for children and for families um, to deal with, say, attachment or trauma issues. So that's one thing you know, I, I didn't have, but the government now putting in place to really help people understand these very complex issues. And, and we don't, John, we don't need to talk specifically about this case today, because every case is, is different. Well, in our central London studio is the stand-up comedian and TV presenter Joy Carter. Joy, thanks very much for joining us. You know, looking at Sir Anthony Hopkins there, doing his impersonation, uh, of, of Tommy Cooper. It does remind you that his, his biographer once said that on anyone else's lips, his jokes would have been hopeless. Uh, but delivered by Tommy with all his childlike innocence and charm, it made an audience roar. Yeah, he had the ability to really connect with an audience and really engage with them, make them feel like they were the only people there. And he was always just so, that boyish, churlish, sort of muddlesome way of, oh, it might go right, might not, and oh, let's see what happens, we're all in it together, it was fantastic. And even off stage, it was just like that as well. Always, you know, like, for example, um, he, if he was getting a cab or a taxi, he'd often say to the uh, cab driver, a little, here's a little something for, for later. Now, the cab driver would think it was like going, going to be like a £5 tip or a £10 tip. That should just be, uh, you know, have a drink on me, a tea bag. Brilliant. He was just great. Well, that was just plain old tight-fisted, wasn't it, Joy? <laughs> Adding a taxi driver a tea bag. In a children's home. Yeah, I, t I completely second that. Um, people often say to me, what about the colour match? Well, let's just break this down, OK? There are 36 different shades of black skin. Yeah. If you're going for a colour match, listen, I know I struggle with a Mac counter in Selfridges. You know, we're going to be here sometime. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just not going to happen, you know? So just loving parents. Listen, my, yeah. child, my parents chose me. I was adopted out in Nigeria in the Biafran War, you know. Right, this is for you. This is for you. Because in little ketchup, it's only 25 pence. It's brilliant! 25p! And it's great because you can stop putting it on your chips as normal. But you can also put it onto an open wound and it will just heal. 